Welcome to Toy Poloi. No Legos were harmed in the making of this video. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Ploy. Now in a recent video I showed you how to make a replacement piece of glass or plastic for this uh, vintage Star Wars snow speeder canopy and you can see here this is the one that I made in that video and a few people asked uh, why I didn't cover making the rear gun as glass and the main reason was I didn't actually need one for the restoration that I was doing but as a few people have asked uh, if I could show how to make one I thought I'd do a second video just showing how to make uh, the gunner cockpit glass here for this vintage uh, Kenner snow speeder. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how I make that. So first up we need to remove the glass that's actually in this uh, cockpit section because I do have one in this vehicle uh, and that's easy enough to do. Normally the glasses are just sort of held in, they're sort of lightly clipped in place. So just a little gentle push on the back uh, and the glass just normally just sort of ping out. This one's actually a pretty tough fit. Uh, some of them are a lot easier than this. For some reason this one is uh, very firmly held in place which is I guess why it's never been lost. So there we go that's the glass removed. So now we can get on and make our replacement. Now I've already made a template for this because that takes quite a lot of time. You have to sort of carefully measure all the internal angles and sort of uh, sections of this cockpit and I've made this little template here. Now this took me sort of about half an hour to work out because I sort of make a version and gently sort of tease it into place to make sure that it actually fits and you can see that that one uh, fits quite nicely. So I've then taken this into Photoshop and made a template which you'll be able to download from uh, toypoloi.com. And so here is the template. As you can see I've added it to the uh, previous template that I showed you for the uh, front cockpit section. And all you need to do is print this out onto A4 paper at 100% uh, and we can then just lay this onto my cutting mat. And again I'm going to use the same acetate sheets that uh, I bought uh, previously. So this is a 300 microns sort of acetate and we can again just use the top edge because it's a nice sort of sharp edge. And I'm going to line that up with the uh, sort of bottom line shall we say of uh, the rear gunner glass. And then I'm just going to take a small piece of sellotape, which I can cut here, and just gently tape that in place because this is just to hold the sort of template in place while we're cutting. So we can now start the uh, sort of cutting of this. And again, acetate cuts very easily. So I'm just going to use a, a sharp blade here and a metal ruler to work my way around all of the edge parts of uh, this uh, shape until we've got those cut. So I'll just carefully go through those and as you can see you can cut very easily just to, without pushing the blade particularly hard it will cut straight through the acetate. So let's get this cut out and then I'll show you the next stage. So there we go I've cut all of the outer pieces now so we should just be able to remove this outer part of the acetate and we can put that to one side and now while leaving this still on uh, the template I'm going to gently score just these uh, sort of diagonal lines that you've got here and then this sort of slight tab section this is where we're going to attach the uh, glass to the inside of the cockpit we just want to score that as well you know you don't cut through this it's just a gentle score because uh, a small score will make the uh, acetate very easy to bend uh, whereas if you cut too much you're going to cut these off so it's just a light score with the edge of the blade. And now we're good to go so we can take this off of the template, remove the sticky tape and that is the first part of the rear glass. Now that we've got this cut out we can attach the uh, double sided tape which is what we're going to use to hold it in place and that goes on the tab that's in the middle. Uh, because of the shape of uh, this rear sort of gunner section there's not a lot of space to add any sort of fixings. But you don't really need a great deal because it's not an area that's going to get sort of, uh, sort of touched a lot or sort of pushed in so just a small tab like this will do. So I'm just going to stick a small amount of double sided tape onto that. And now we can shape this cockpit glass. So what you do is where you've scored we can sort of just gently fold it and you'll see that the acetate bends very neatly just because you put a scored line there. We can do the same on the other side. You can see that's starting to look like the right shape and then we can just bend the tab down as well which is uh, the other section that we need. If I bring in the original glass you'll see that that matches quite nicely.
So now this is all cut and folded, we can uh, just drop this into place. So I'm just going to take the double-sided tape off the little tab and I should be able to just push this into the area behind the cockpit and that should just sort of hold and hold in place which it does. So there you go, there's the nice sort of replacement bit of uh, the rear gunner glass. So let's put this uh, whole ship back together and you can see it all in place. And there we go, there's the uh, gunner cockpit glass in place. As you can see it looks pretty nice as I showed you on the previous video. Uh, the new bits of acetate look a lot clearer and a lot cleaner than the original ones but uh, if you can find original ones obviously this is something that you can easily remove. So I have an, a spare one of these that I'm going to uh, put back in this uh, after this video but uh, just for the purposes of showing you this is uh, how I would do it. So I hope that video has been of interest for you and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Ploy. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Ploy on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.